tomorrow. We are going to give the American people better leadership. We're going to make Donald Trump the next president. Republican vice presidential candidate Senator J.D. Vance rallied supporters in Wisconsin on Monday, urging them to make their voices heard as Election Day nears. In a fiery address, Vance stressed the significance of every single vote, noting that Wisconsin and Pennsylvania are crucial battlegrounds that could tip the balance of the election. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow is the big day when we are going to vote in very big numbers in the state of Wisconsin. We're going to vote for change. We're going to vote for American prosperity. We're going to vote for Donald J. Trump to be the President of the United States. Throughout his speech, Vance projected confidence in the Republican turnout so far, highlighting the strength of early voting numbers. But he urged supporters not to become complacent, warning that the outcome remains uncertain. If you look at the early vote numbers, the absentee vote numbers, Republicans, we're doing as well as we ever have in the history of American elections. That's the good news. But the bad news is this is not even close to over yet. And this election, I'm telling you, in the state of Wisconsin, in the, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it is going to be won on Election Day or it's going to be lost on Election Day. As Vance spoke, he emphasized the razor thin margins that have historically defined tight elections, pointing to Florida's 2000 presidential race as a reminder. So here's what I'd like all of you to think about is what would you do differently over the next 24 hours if you woke up on Wednesday morning and found out that Kamala Harris had won the state of Wisconsin by 90 votes? You said that sounds crazy. That was the margin in Florida in 2000 was that tiny. So ask yourself, what would you do differently over the next 24 hours if you knew that we were going to lose by 90 votes? Because that is what you should be doing. Vance's message centered on a vision of stronger leadership and a promise to improve the lives of Americans nationwide, appealing to voters seeking a change from current policies. I want you to think about all of the American citizens who could be living a better life if they simply had better leadership in Washington, D.C. My friends, tomorrow we are going to give the American people better leadership. We're going to make Donald Trump the next president and we're going to do it together. With just hours remaining before the polls open, Vance encouraged the crowd to mobilize for a final push in the swing state of Wisconsin, pledging to return to support them in the future. Senator J.D. Vance's rally underscored the high stakes and razor edge margins in this election as both Wisconsin and Pennsylvania could shape the path to the White House.